Uh, Michael, I'm going to hold Andrew that lit drop offer, just so you know. We can do that together, and we can do one uh, with JR. And while they're getting a, a photograph taken over here, we, um, in holding this event today, uh, Mrs. McManus was nice enough to say, you know, we should allow all of the candidates that are in this area um, to come together so, so residents can meet them, not just, not just Jane running for Senate and, and not just Andrew running for governor, but our, our House reps uh, and our State Senate reps. And Jane was going to, to do the introduction here, but I'll, I'll do that on your behalf. Um, we'd like to introduce um, a, an incumbent House member finishing his second term, uh, running for a third, uh, a young man that I've gotten to know very well. Um, we do a radio show on Monday mornings and try to anger as many people as we possibly can. Um, we also, we also uh, run the only Second Amendment political action committee in the state of New Hampshire called Packing New Hampshire, which seeks, um, endorses, and supports true Second Amendment candidates. And uh, just general all-around good guy, uh, wonderful father. For an engineer, he's incredibly uh, good out in public. <laughs> so uh, that being said, I'd, I'd like to introduce J.R. Hole, Bo and Dunbarton. <laughs> When you go to engineering school, they don't teach you how to do public talk, public speaking. Um, so anyway, I live in, in Dunbarton. I represented this um, Owen Dunbarton as a community for the last four years. I have a really strong record of voting against tax increases. For example, when the Merrimack County delegation met this time around, um, 28 people voted for the increase in the Merrimack County budget. I was the sole dissenter. Um, the only tax increase I voted for was I thought medical marijuana or whatever. Tax and regulated marijuana was an acceptable way to go forward as some other way to bring revenue to the state. That's the only bill I voted for last year um, that would have been a quote increase in taxes. And people complained about that. We shouldn't be punishing kids, okay? And putting them in jail and destroying their lives over something as simple as smoking a marijuana joint. I don't use, I've worked at a drug rehab, okay? This may sound strange, but I've seen lives destroyed over something that doesn't necessarily do the same harm. Maybe not a popular message, but I'm gonna say it. We have better things to do with our tax dollars than continue to destroy these families. Um, secondly, I'm a strong advocate for education. We have a really broken ed education system, okay? We spend an enormous amount of money. The current budget is somewhere on the order of fifteen to $16,000 per child per year is what it costs us for public education. My wife and I homeschool all of our children. She does all the work. I do a little bit on science and technology and math. Um, answering questions. At the end of the day, though, that saves our town, we have four kids, $60,000 a year roughly. That's a real number. Why? Because we believe in education so much, both she, my wife and I have our masters, um, that it's important. It, it benefits you the rest of your life, okay? We need, we need to start fixing our education system. Part of that's getting parents involved. Part of that's making sure the students want to be there and want to learn. Part of that's giving additional choices to what programs are available. Um, charter schools are a good example of where we've seen a huge difference in the outcome, and it's a third the cost. Taxes and spending. The first year I was elected, we managed to trim our state budget by over a billion dollars. Okay? We need to do that again. Um, this, this time around, it, it went up. But just think about what would have happened if we hadn't trimmed it in 2011 to 2012, right? That's an extra billion dollars this year. And with 1.3 million people in the state, that's $700 per person. That's another $700 per person for everybody in this audience that would have been paying plus the increase this year, okay? That lives on forever as $700 less per year that we're paying. It's time to rein in our government, as Andrew had said. When, when government increases, liberty decreases. And I honestly believe people have the ability to self-govern self -govern themselves. Not everybody, but a vast majority don't need a big government looking over their shoulder over everything, okay? So with that, um, 
Thank you. I'm willing to take questions. I'll be here the rest of the day. Rock TV.